Hey guys, this is Marie and I'm back with another video and this video is going to be Hermit Crab Update. So let's get started. So in this video, I will be showing you and talking to you a little bit about the tank, the hermit crabs, molting, changing shells, and also story time. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now as you guys can see the title of this video, this video is going to be all about hermit crabs and their update. So here we go. As you guys can see here, this is my 20 gallon long hermit crab tank. I have a total of six hermit crabs, five are purple pinchers, and one is a Ecuadorian hermit crab. Now, if you guys are looking into getting a hermit crab tank for the first time, or even want to upgrade your tank, definitely check out Petco because they do a $1 per gallon sale once a year, and you just have to catch it when they're doing it at that time. Now usually it's during like springtime to the summertime is when they do the sale. So definitely check out Peco if you have it in your area. So if you're looking to getting into hermit crabs and want to tank for the first time, it will save you so much money when they do the sale. Or even if you want to upgrade your tank to a bigger tank, that is the best time to get a new tank. Uh, they do 10 gallons, 20 gallon long, 20 gallon high, and also sometimes they do 40 gallons. So definitely check that out. I absolutely love telling you guys every single time in my videos because I know it will help somebody out there to save some money if you can. Um, I would love to let people know when they do have sales like that. So I absolutely love telling you guys every single time that I do a hermit crab update video. But definitely check out Petco if you have it. Now, going on with the tank update, there's not much going on with this tank. Um, the only thing, a little bit, I want to tell you guys is that I did do a nice deep clean tank cleaning um, on Wednesday, this past Wednesday. I completely took every single decoration out, food bowl, water bowl, everything. And then I took the Eco Earth and the substrate sand. And what I did was put some nice fresh water inside of it and mix it all around. Make sure my sand and substrate is completely moist. And it is beach-like sand so the hermit crabs can go down and molt and don't have any issues or problems. Now when I do this deep cleaning, I only do this every three months. I don't do this every day or every other day or once a week. I do this every three months that I do that. Once a month, I completely do a full deep clean, and that is completely taking every single thing out of the tank, even the substrate, and putting brand new equal earth and play sand inside of it and starting over. But that is once a year, and every three months, I just do the regular deep cleaning. So you want to make sure that your substrate is completely good and nice and moist, and also a beach-like sand every once in a while to make sure that your hermit crabs are doing okay. Now I do this and when I do this, if I don't have any hermit crabs up, I do go around with the substrate and with my hand to make sure I get every single hermit crab out of there and make sure at that time they are not molting. I have done this many, many, many years so I do have a little bit more experience of doing this. So if you guys do comment down below saying that I should not do this, Yes, I know that, but I have done this for so many years now. I am very careful, and I just have that more experience of doing it. I would understand if this is like your first time doing like a deep clean, and you end up finding a hermit crab or doing something like that. But I have done this so many times, and I'm kind of more like have a lot of experience about doing this, so... Um, I haven't really had any issues or problems, but I do have a little story to tell you guys towards this end of this video when I give you guys the rest of the update. But it, the Hermit Crab's got a nice deep clean tank and it's super clean in here. Their uh, substrate is nice and moist and good to go for the next Hermit Crab to go down and moat. The next thing I want to tell you guys about updating um, is the log that I got probably about three or four weeks ago. I told you guys and showed you in my last update that I got this log um, at PetSmart. And I found this log when I was at PetSmart one day. I wanted to find some other 
hiding spots for the hermit crabs or something for else to climb on. And I found this log. This is kind of like the fake wood log so it doesn't mess up easily. I used to have those logs in the back when I used to have my other tanks that the log would either fall apart or it would get too wet and then it would grow mold on it and I would have to throw it away. So I stopped buying those type of logs until I actually went to PetSmart. It went into the area like the lizard area or some kind of like lizard area you could find like your plants and the logs and that is where I found this log and I absolutely love it. I'm going to try to get close so you guys can see more up close of what the log looks like. So here's what it looks like. This is like about a medium sized log. They do have a larger one if you have a bigger tank and want a bigger log. They do have those. But I have not had any issues or problems with this log. I absolutely love it. It looks so nice and natural in here. And I do actually have a hermit crab in there now like hanging out. So he keeps coming in and out of the log. But he is in there. But they love it. They like to hide behind the little uh, plant right there. Or they go inside and just hang out and sleep or do what they got to do. Um, it is nice because this log is up against my heater. So the back side of the log is nice and warm for them. So if they want to go inside the log, they can still get some heat from the heat mat right there. But that is pretty much it for the update of the tank inside. Going on to the hermit crabs. Like I said in the beginning, I only have six hermit crabs. I have lost a lot of hermit crabs since my last update. Um, this is the hermit crab number two. Number one, I actually does not have anything inside of it right now. There's no hermit crabs. It's completely like just trashed right now. Um, I do have to clean it out and start all over. Um, most of the hermit crabs in there had either passed away or had problems and I ended up putting them inside of this tank at that time. I did have a total of seven and I did lose a hermit crab since then inside of this tank but I lost most of the ones that um, hermit crab one tank and I had only had like four hermit crabs in the first tank this tank I had five hermit crabs so I've lost a lot of hermit crabs since the last update that I have talked to you guys about but I did end up losing another hermit crab on Wednesday when I did do my deep clean um, I will go into more detail towards the end of the video but other than that all the other hermit crabs that are in here are doing wonderful and great they're enjoying their nice clean tank and enjoying just climbing and eating and drinking and doing what they're doing the best but this is what the tank looks like now molting i did have a hermit crab um, go into molting and that is the hermit crab that was actually dead so that is the hermit crab i will be talking to you guys about but everything else is going pretty well um, right now, I think there is a total of four hermit crabs up, and the other two, I think, are just down, hanging out in the substrate. Sometimes they just like to hang out down there. They don't usually like molt. They just hang down there and de-stress, though. But there is one actually in the log, and then there's one right there hanging out on the bottom. And I think there's the other two are inside of this um, plant right here, hiding it's kind of hard to see it with the glare. I apologize about that. But let me see if I can get up closer so you guys can see. All right, so here's what it looks like. There's one hermit crab just hanging out. Here's what everything looks like. And here's what the log looks like if you guys want to see it more closer. So it's a nice, beautiful log. I absolutely love it. They like it too. So here's everything. I'm trying to see if I can see the hermit. Oh, here's a hermit crab. So there's one hermit crab hanging out, hanging out over there. Sorry, my light just fell backwards. So there's a hermit crab right there. All right. Um, I will be right back. I'm gonna have to get the light real quick. All right, I'm back. Um, I just took off the lid so it'll be easier for me to film and talk to you guys about the hermit crabs, but. There is two hermit crabs actually right there. 
two more just hanging out. Um, these hermit crabs are kind of the ones that have changed shells. I don't know if uh, which hermit crab is which now because everybody keeps changing shells and I have had one that passed away and I pretty much don't know who's who now. I'm gonna have to go back and next time I like take them out I'm gonna have to like check to see who's the male and who's the female and do that and see if I can figure out who is who. But I believe one of these two or both of these are either Holly or Hazel. So I believe that is what those two are. So I think those are the two females. But they're just hanging out on this little log thing that it goes across right there. They absolutely love the log. So they're just hanging out right there. And then you got one right there hanging out by the water dish. And like I said, there is another one inside of the log, but probably gonna be hard to see, so I'm not gonna really go into that. But the next hermit crab that did change shells is actually the one that's in the log. Um, that is my male hermit crab, and his name is Oliver, and he has changed shells probably like twice since then. Um, the last shell that he was in was, let me see if I can find it, I think this one. So he was actually in this shell, and he moved into a bigger shell. And it kind of looks like this one, but a smaller version of it. So I got these on Amazon a couple weeks ago. So this is a bigger version of it, but the next size down is the next medium size. So he went into that shell. So it's a nice, good shell. I like it. And they're beautiful shells. So that is the shell that he moved into. So. He has changed twice so far. Um, Hazel, if this is Hazel and Holly, they have only changed once since then. So they were actually living in those like shells that um, hermit crabs usually come be into when you get them at Pesmore or Petco. Those like natural black and tan shells. I don't know if I kind of like these. Oh, I can't find. Them. I can't find any, but other than that, um, they have only changed that many times. All right, so moving on to the story time, I'll go ahead and tell you guys what happened. So once I got everything out of the tank and started digging around, getting all the hermit crabs out, I come across of a couple of plain shells that had nothing in them. Okay. Then when I got to like the middle area right here, I was digging again slowly. Like I said, I do it slowly to make sure in case the hermit crab is molting, I do it slowly. And I come across something like mushy and that was not fun. Um, so when I touched it, it was kind of mushy and I was like, oh my God, I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know if the hermit crab was out of its shell or what happened or if it was molting, I didn't know. So I had to like dig around it and it was actually a hermit crab that was out of its shell but it was dead. And come across eventually when I kind of like got some of the dirt off it, it was actually it had already molting but I don't know if the hermit crab came out of its shell and then molted and then never got back into the shell or got lost and couldn't get the shell back. I don't know what happened but that hermit crab ended up pretty much dying because they could not get back into the shell. And also, um, once they molt, they are super super soft and dedical that they can get hurt and die quickly. So that, I guess that's what happened. So I ended up losing that hermit crab from that situation. So it was so sad. I, did, I should have took pictures and like video a little bit just to show you guys of, you know, what kind of what it looked like. But I did know that um, it did molt it because when I was digging around, I did find um, exoskeleton of the hermit crabs. So I knew that it did molt, but I just don't know if it came out of the shell and molted and then just couldn't find its shell. It got lost. I don't know what happened, but I ended up finding the empty shell first and then I ended up finding the hermit crab. So that happened. And then moving on towards like the end of the sh um, tank, I got down to digging again and 
Um, I saw when I was digging, I actually touched the hermit crab. I touched the, like the front of the hermit crab, like where the legs and stuff is, and I saw the hermit crab. But when I was digging from the like the back side, I noticed that the hermit crab did not have a shell on. So I had one hermit crab that was dead out of its shell, and then I had another hermit crab that was alive but did not have a shell. So that was a very interesting day that I had when I was doing my deep cleaning. So I end up have to like dig a little bit more and get the hermit crab to come up out of the dirt a little bit more to where I just took like a little plastic container that I had from my dubia roaches that I get and I kind of like just glanced like let him or her go into the, t the um, container to get him in there or her in there. And once I did that, I went on ahead and got my uh, critter creeper tank and put some dirt in there. I put about a total of five shells in there and then covered it with a towel and then um, let the hermit crab do its thing. So as soon as I put the hermit crab in there and the shells were in there, I put some food in there, the hermit crab went to one of the shells and actually moved right back in there. So I don't know what that hermit crab was doing. I don't know if that hermit crab kind of like wanted to get out of its shell and kind of lost it and couldn't find it and did the same exact thing like the other one. He, he or she was not molting. I didn't see any evidence of it molting. I think it just came out of its shell and pretty much got lost and couldn't find its shell again. I don't know what happened, but between the one coming out of its shell and being dead and then already had molted, and then this one doing this thing, it was very interesting. Um, out of all of my years that I've had a hermit crab, this is probably the second time that I have had a hermit crab come out of its shell and walk around like it was just having a good old time. I don't know what it's doing, what it's thinking, or why it was doing that, but luckily I scooped it up very slowly and let it do its thing and walked inside of the container and then just put it in my critter creeper with some sand and some dirt and put some shells in there and the hermit crab completely went back in there. So that hermit crab is fine. I believe that hermit crab is probably down under the substrate. I don't believe that the hermit crab is one of these guys. So I don't know which hermit crab that is. Like I said, I had so many hermit crabs changing shells, doing this and doing that. I don't really know about any of my hermit crabs anymore except the Ecuadorian because of course I only have one of those and he is so stubborn that he won't even change a shell. And then Oliver that is actually inside of this log. I know him by heart because of the shell that he was in, so I knew that's him. But all the other ones, it's just kind of hard to tell who is who now because they keep changing shells and a couple of them keep, you know, passing away and molting and I don't know who's who. So I'm definitely going to have to, like, take them out again and check them and go from there with my hermicides. But that is the hermicide story I kind of wanted to tell you guys and let you guys know my experience about it. If you ever come across of something like that, especially a hermit crab coming out of a shell, just be very careful. Try to do your best to get that hermit crab um, into like a little small container to where you could put it into like another isolation tank like I have. So you can get that hermit crab to go back into its shell. Cause like I said, I don't know it came out of its shell and it just got lost and couldn't find a shell and just got stuck. So I don't know what happened. That is a mystery and you're never gonna know why a hermit crab does that. But it happens once in a blue moon. It doesn't happen often. Like I said, this is only the second time I've had a hermit crab do this. And both times the hermit crab went back into their shell. So sometimes you just gotta help them out, I guess. I don't know. But like I said, I just wanted to tell you guys that little story because you know, hermit crabs have that situation where you need to help them. And I am so happy that I did pick that day to actually deep clean my tank because if I didn't, uh, the hermit crab that was dead, it would eventually had smelled and one of the hermit crabs probably went, went over there and eat it or did something to it. And especially the one that was out of its shell that was alive, that one could have ended up getting hurt from another hermit crab or even dying if it got scorched to the point where 
it didn't have a shell on. So I am so happy and thankful that I actually decided to do the deep cleaning that day because of that situation. So I'm so glad that I actually get the chance to check the hard archives. And that is how I check my hard archives every couple of months because you never know what's going to happen underneath there. So I do like to do that. So like I said, I've had a lot of experience of doing this. So I know what I'm doing and I know how to do the proper way of it. But if this is your first time ever experiencing something like that, I would just say very warning, just be careful, slowly get the hermit crab to go into something smaller so you can get that hermit crab out of the tank and put it into an isolation tank so you can get that hermit crab to go back into its shell. And like I said, within probably a couple of seconds to a minute, that hermit crab went into one of the shells. So I think that hermit crab just ended up losing its shell. That was the problem. Now the one that molted and came out of its shell and then ended up dying, I don't know what was the detail of that. I have i don't know. I really don't know and I'm so sad that I did lose a hermit crab because of that situation, but I'm glad that I did was able to save one that was out of its shell and was still alive. So, But that is pretty much the update I wanted to give you guys and the little story that happened to me this past week of my hermit crabs. But, other than that, everything is going very well. Um, quickly, I'll just show you the food that I have in here for my hermit crabs. I get my food from um, Etsy.com. You can get a whole bunch of hermit crab food there. So this is what they're eating today. Got a little different a variety of food. So that is pretty much it. And then here's a better view of the log. I wish the other hermit crab, Oliver, would come out so you can see his nice little pretty shell that he has on but maybe eventually i'll do another video with him out but that is pretty much everything in the update of the hermit crabs and what has been going on so i'm going to go ahead and end this video here i hope you guys enjoyed it please give this video a big thumbs up comment down below and definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more until next time i will see you guys in the next video bye